Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Maria Manuela Catrina, who is the State Secretary for the Ministry of Communications and Information Society for Romania. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for the invitation and uh, I'm very happy to be here in Dubai for the last week to participate in the conference. Now I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, a question that I, I have been asking guests that have been sitting in that chair. There's currently considerable attention being placed uh, on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies as an enabler for good, for development, for uh, the benefit of people, families, communities and nations. And I wanted to ask you, what's your personal perspective on this? Um, I think we have a very powerful tool, but we should remember that it's a tool. Uh, we are uh, in a conference where the most of the participants are working in the field, so sometimes we be believe we are the wizards of the world, but in, the way, in a way we are just the enabler for a transformation that will be happening, let's say the digital transformation. But uh, it's a powerful tool that we need to use in order to do good. We need to face the new questions of the future, be it AI, be it cybersecurity, and so on. Like every tool, it has two sides of every, every blade has two sides. But in the other in the other direction, we uh, need to use this tool in order to make uh, the life of our citizens uh, better uh, all over the world. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this plenipotentiary conference is the first one since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Perhaps you could provide a couple of examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in your country. I think it's very good that we have this, we look upon on the development goals when we talk about ICT. Uh, and this doesn't let, you, let us forget about poverty, about inclusion, about gender equality, about uh, food, energy, and so on, providing for our people. So um, what I want, or what we, what we try to do in Romania, is to use ICT um, as an enabler of, um, let's say, social elevator, uh, to just flat the gaps between, the divides between different uh, types of old, young people, uh, socially disabled people, or people that are maybe in a better social position in order to uh, take care that uh, the, um, the new technology doesn't provide uh, wider gaps between uh, the different type of population. That means that my 92 year old grandmother has to learn how to use a phone. She skipped over the computer, but she still, uh, she's able to, to use the phone and to use some, uh, some social networks in order to talk with her grandchildren, grandchildren and her grand grandchildren. So we have to find the use for the technology. And uh, we also do a lot in, uh, in order to um, uh, educate the young people in, to use these technologies. We have IT classes starting from the fifth grade to the 12th grade, it's mandatory. We also have cyber security and cyber hygiene very, very, very early started in, in, in schools, but we think that we should start it even earlier. Um, and uh, we also uh, try to foster the industry. I don't know if you know, but we have 8% uh, of the Romanian GDP is already delivered by ICT. That means we are close to the agriculture, but uh, we are going uh, up. So this means that we have a, a big industry to foster and uh, one of our concerns is to regulate in a limited amount in order to let this uh, innovation, innovative uh, capacities to, to drive the growth further. Fostering SMEs, for example? Fostering SMEs, yes. Uh, for example, the, um, last year, one of the biggest unicorns was the Romanian SME that uh, uh, worked in artificial intelligence. It's called UiPath. So, yes, fostering SMEs, we have uh, vivid clusters, um, but also a lot of very young people that uh, work in new technologies. See, I just had a, has just met some. Uh, some very young uh, and uh, energetic uh, group of people that have a blockchain company. Um, the oldest one is 23, the youngest is 15. Um, none of them had already finished their education, but they already did um, a lot of things in international in working on, on stock exchanges. So uh, it's a new generation that is coming, they are digital by, by the birth, and we have to keep up with them. Let's talk about a, a recent uh, statistic that's saying about half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is Romania doing to get everyone connected? I think we, we must have done something right because 
we have one of the most uh, fastest internet in the world, but also one of the cheapest internet in the world. That means, uh, beside uh, expanding the broadband um, network, we skipped a generation. That means that we get from land already to mobile, and um, here the regulators and the, the government did a good job in, in providing such uh, opportunities for the people to use these tools. So having it uh, available and cheap is important, but it's also important to have the knowledge to use it and also the interest to use it. So uh, we are working now on that, on that field uh, for the future. For the old all the way to the, the very young. Yes. Uh, and uh, just finally, you're here at the ITU Plenty Potentiary Conference. I'm sure you've been getting your message across, but I wanted to ask you, perhaps you, you wanted to put it into a nutshell for our wider audience here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you, everybody that votes for us, <laughs> for the council. Uh, for us, it was a surprising uh, result to convince so many people that we uh, should be on the table of discussions. Um, I personally believe strongly in involving more and more women in ICT. Uh, in Romania, we do a very good job. We have around 30% women working already in, in ICT companies. Uh, but um, if we look that each and every one of us have a deficit of talents in this area, uh, it must, we must uh, not forget half of the population and uh, bring it also on the, on the digital table with us. So this would be my, my personal touch in this, uh, in this uh, conference. One that's shared, I'm sure, by, by many delegates I'm sure. Here. I'm very happy that we have already now uh, women in the, in the, in, in the high-level dignitaries of ITU. So I'm sure uh, she will also push forward for this uh, subject. Yeah. I'm sure she will. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio and we look forward to catching up with you again sometime in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.